Sheriff's Department with a search warrant demanding entry. And on top of the table, there's one body. We're going to begin tonight with a strange suicide of the 30th. It's very strange. March 26, 1997. America reels at one of the most bizarre stories in the history of cults and religion. One on top of another. One bed here, one bed there. Four bodies. Six bodies. 10, 12, 14, 16, 19. Body after body. 23 bodies. 29, 33. On the floor, on tables. Now 38. Grand total to 39. 39, 39 people, people found deceased. On the stair landing, on bunk beds. Why were they wearing homemade spaceship uniforms? Brand new Nike sneakers. Their pockets filled with their ID cards, lip balm, spiral notebooks. The largest mass suicide on U.S. soil in this century. Even the hardened cops at the scene are stunned. Okay, clear the way. What in the hell happened here? Who are these people? Three to beam up. Energize. 39 to beam up. Thank you. She goes, 39 to beam up. You know, and, and that, I, I think that just said it all. I felt so sorry for her. It can be the best thing. The mystery of Heaven's Gate. Of the next kingdom. Begins. Yes, it is. It's the cult. I mean, it's the cult of cults. It's the cult of truth. For more than two years, we've been poring over the decades of old documents, videotapes, hundreds of hours of audio tape we've not heard before. Tapes found in archives and storage bins. We set out to find former followers, including the anonymous caller. What secrets will he share 25 years later? And other witnesses start to come out of the shadows to talk with us about our central question. How did wonderful people so much like our friends, our family, end up ensnared in a cult? A life of isolation, rituals, medieval hoods blocking their faces, some even castrating themselves to curb any sexual desire. And for every face on these videos, there are so many anguished people they left behind. Parents, children, lovers desperate to find them. My parents were in the Heaven's Gate cult. My wife was Yvonne. What happened to my brother? Is he still living? This was the love of my life. A child abandoned by her mother and her father. Both your parents, both. Did you have a moment where you said goodbye? I just couldn't stop crying. And then that was it. They were gone. So now go back again and take one more look at the followers living secretly inside the big house next door. Let's start at the very beginning. On it, a beloved song from a beloved movie. twisted into an anthem about serving dough their leader, even to death. We'll help you follow along. The gentleman said, I'm from the coroner's office in San Diego. So I knew immediately why he called. And that all hope was lost. This sense of betrayal and literally asking the question to myself, <laughs> mm. sorry, I just had a moment. <laughs> I think, what a waste, all of those 39 people, what a waste, what a waste of talent and beauty, because they were good. They had good hearts. These people were not malicious. I just wish that there was some way she could have found something worth living for, yeah. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.